everybody, how are we all? In this video I'm going to be giving you a quick guide on clubs and how to get started and basically how to find a club, all those kind of things. So if you're looking for a club and you don't really know what to do, then I'm hoping this guide will help you with that. I'm going to be questing while I'm doing this. I have a lot of quests to get done. I guess I'll do this one as well because it's new. Oh wait, why didn't I do main quests? Actually, no. To find the best club for you, you want to consider the type of club you want. So if you're into dressage or you're wanting to learn dressage, then you need to find a dressage club. Th that's plainly obvious. If you maybe want to make some friends, then you could join a hangout club or find a club that has those teams. So for example, you, you might have a club that has a racing team, a western drill team, and a dressage team, so as long as you make sure that the club you're thinking of joining has them, then you should be good to go. That's not the only thing you need to think about though. You also need to consider the size of the club, and I'm not saying small clubs are bad. Small clubs are certainly not bad, in fact, small clubs are brilliant sometimes because sometimes you can be, I'm going the wrong way, <laughs> sometimes you can be left out when you're in a club if it's a big one, say you're in a club which is full, maxed 50, and there's going to be, there's obviously going to be people that feel a bit left out, because that's just how it's going to work. Where's Barbara? I personally don't like smaller clubs, I like bigger clubs, or not as new clubs. Smaller clubs aren't really for me, because I prefer it when a club is more active, but that is just my opinion, of course. You might prefer smaller clubs, or you might be like me and you prefer bigger clubs. But yeah, you need to consider the size of your club before you look for one. Another thing is looking into the requirements for a club, because a lot of clubs have requirements that are like... depending on what kind of club it is, because disco clubs usually have an age requirement for maturity, because it's on call and stuff. But then maybe a chat dressage club or something will, wouldn't have an age requirement because it's quite hard to communicate that over a, over SSO chat because it's a bit odd. And another thing which is something that I personally think is important but a lot, like I can imagine other people won't think is, is important, is trial periods. So a lot of clubs do have trial periods. One club that stands out to me with this is a club on Candy Cove which is the server I'm on. Uh, called Metal Rush and basically they have it so that they're also a Discord club so it's a bit easier to communicate. They have it so that the trials don't actually join the SSO club until they've passed their trial and I think trials are quite important because you need to figure out if the club is for you or not and then if it's not for you you can say like oh I, after spending some time you know in the club I don't think it's for me and all that I'll cover like leaving a club later but yeah that's all I really have to say for finding a club now once you've joined a club so say uh, you've found a club that you like you meet all the requirements and you've applied so I mean you don't have to apply for all clubs you might see an ad for a club in global if you see an ad in global you saw an ad in global then you can maybe friend or group the owner or ask them like if they have apps or if you can just join because some clubs they'll say oh yeah I'll send you an invite now and you just join but some other clubs you have to apply some clubs you have to apply to get into which is usually through a google form that's how I know it and any other methods might be asking questions through DMs or something. If you don't get into the club, my best advice is to just try and find another. Don't be too upset about it, there's other people that probably weren't accepted. Don't get too upset about it, honestly. It's not incredibly important at the end of the day, it's a horse game. The best thing to do is just move on from it. If you do get accepted though, then you should be invited to the in-game club and maybe a Discord server, depending on whether like they are a Discord club or not. I really recommend going to the first event because you can get a really good feel for the club's dynamic and what the people are like. I mean, making friends in the club is really important. It probably doesn't sound too important, but 
making friends is really important otherwise you just won't enjoy it. Try your best to turn up to the events in your trial period because you can make a good first impression and you'll look more active and it's good for the way that the people in the club view you and you're more likely to be given a higher role in the club if you do make a good impression and the club might be looking for higher roles like leaders or instructors anything like that then they might consider making you one of these roles it's also really good to offer your help when it's needed so say like this club that you're in has two leaders and one owner and the owner can't make the event and the two leaders can't do the event and there's no instructors or anything so you could say i know i'm new here but i wouldn't mind taking events okay now i'm gonna cover leaving clubs the first tip in this section is don't suffer in silence and i know it sounds a bit dramatic but if you're not enjoying the club then you're not enjoying the club and it's not fair on yourself to stay there and i don't think that you should stay there if you're not enjoying it anymore don't just leave after one event or like as soon as you join at least see out your trial period and see what the club's like so one thing that's definitely very very important is notifying the owner before you leave the club that is so that is so so important because I have first-hand experience of people leaving without telling me and that was when I was owning like uh, that was when I was owning smaller clubs and it does usually happen with smaller clubs they don't tell you but notifying the owner before you leave is so so important it's like really really annoying for owners when you don't tell them that you're leaving and just leave because then they don't know what's happened to you and it's kind of it upsets me personally more than if I'm told that the person's going to be leaving because like if they tell me I'm they're leaving I'm going to be a bit upset I guess but not too upset but then if I log on SSO and see that I've got one less member in my club or like two less members in my club then that's really sad for me I, it just really upsets me and also it kind of lowers my motivation to keep the club going okay and this is the last tip if you feel like you're club hopping then stop and take a break not from SSO entirely if you want to keep playing so uh, I'll elaborate on it a bit more if you feel like you're hopping between multiple different clubs because everyone you've tried just doesn't feel right then take a break from clubs for the moment just give yourself a time out not punishing yourself just give yourself a time out because you might be getting yourself a bit overwhelmed about it get yourself in a different mindset maybe use the guide if you didn't use it before if you do want to know some more tips let me know thank you so much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful i think i probably would have found it quite helpful when i first started looking for clubs and i'll see you in the next one bye